Hi everyone and welcome to episode 19 of Empathic Action. This morning I received an email from my uh, the director of the daycare where my child goes to school and she shared a story that was written by Dr. Xu Shen Yen, uh, known as Jenny, who is an associate professor in the Department of Child and Adolescent Studies at California State University in Fullerton. Uh, she's written a number of children's stories um, to help them process really big things going on in the world, uh, including 9-11 uh, and other natural disasters uh, like Hurricane Katrina and uh, what happened in, in Puerto Rico and the Philippines. So um, I will include some information about the author at the end of this video, but enjoy sharing this with your child. Um, it's, a, it's a really helpful story to help kind of mitigate any anxiety that a child is feeling and it's certainly an act of empathic action for any uh, toddlers and children in your life. Enjoy. Something strange happened in my city. A social story about the coronavirus pandemic for children. By Dr. Xu Chen Jenny Yen. Something very strange happened in my city. I can't go to school, the park, or my friend's house to play. My parents can't go to work. My grandma can't go shopping. The streets look empty. I wonder where people are. Everyone on TV is wearing a mask. Doctors and nurses on TV are wearing strange clothes from head to toe. Does our city have a fever, Mama? Is our city sick? Why does everyone look so sad? Why do people look angry and upset? Why don't I see smiling faces anymore? Yes, my child, our city is sick. A new virus called COVID-19 that makes humans sick is spreading very quickly around the world. Unfortunately, our city got the virus too. Mama, why can't people just go to the doctor and get a shot and take some medicine? Well, lots of people are sick right now. All the doctors and nurses are working all day and all night, but still can't help everyone who needs help. Scientists are trying to make a shot that can stop the virus, but it takes time. Will I get sick too, Mama? Well, it is possible that everyone could get sick, but I know a way to keep you safe. Wow, what is it? Tell me, tell me. We will try something called social distancing. What does that mean? It's like how you stay home from school when you don't feel good. We will stay home so we won't get the virus. For now, we won't see other people in person so we don't spread the virus to other people. If we go out, we will stay away from people who look sick. We won't touch things and then touch our face, mouth and eyes. We will wash our hands with soap and warm water for more than 20 seconds to wash the virus off our hands. Well, I will do that. Will that be enough? Well, my dear, don't worry. If every one of us keeps a distance from each other, then the virus won't spread from person to person. Also, Mama, Papa, Grandpa, and Grandma will try our best to protect you to make sure the virus can't reach you. Plus, you know what? The scientists also found that children's immune systems are stronger than adults to defend against this new virus. Wow, so I can beat the virus? Yeah. But with social distancing, does this mean I can't play with my friends anymore? Yes, you can. You can call, text, email, and FaceTime your friends. You can watch movies and videos together online. Mama, how long do I need to wait to go out to play with my friends? When will the virus disappear? Will many people die? My child, my dear child, I just do not know. But every doctor and nurse is trying super hard. They don't want to give up on any sick person. Some of them didn't go home for a couple of days and can't see their own kids. Do the doctor's kids feel sad because they can't see their parents? Yes, they are very sad because they don't get to see their parents every day like you do, but they would also be so proud of their parents for having the courage to fight the virus and save people's lives. Wow, they are so great. 
They are my heroes. There are a lot of heroes who are helping to fight the virus. Scientists work hard to produce shots. Delivery men and women deliver food to the people who can't go out to get food. Journalists share good information with us on TV and newspapers and online. There are many people working hard to keep everyone safe. Wow, people are awesome. Mommy and Daddy will donate money to buy masks, gloves, medical suits, and more so the doctors and nurses can be safe and protected when they help patients. What can I do to help? What do you think? I can draw pictures and write letters to adults who are helping. I can share my toys and storybooks with kids who need them. What a good idea. It is so nice of you, my child. Let's lend a helping hand to kids who need help. This is a battle where everyone in the world is fighting together. Keeping yourself healthy and not spreading the virus are the best ways to help fight this pandemic. Okay, I will wash my hands, stay in the house, and do things online. By staying in, we won't need to go to the hospital so all the doctors and nurses can take care of the people who are sick. Let's all help to fight the virus together by practicing social distancing. Okay, see you on FaceTime, Mama. Thanks for watching and have a great day. See you tomorrow.